Hey, this is Chip with Cultivate Hydroponics, CultivateColorado.com. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the myth of cocoa fiber and EC. If you like this video and others, you can subscribe below, you can comment below, you can kick on this link wherever it happens to be. So let's get rolling. So cocoa fiber is one of the number one medias that people use in our industry, whether it's organic production, hydroponic production, or traditional containers with fertilizer. There's many myths associated with cocoa fiber. You know, when we all started this 25, 30 years ago, the cocoa supply was really bad. And vendors and marketers, they would say stuff like, well, you have to test your EC of your cocoa. Make sure it's one EC or under. And uh, many people do that to this day, but I'm here to tell you, you're wasting your time. I know, I know, you're out there in TV land, you're complaining about what I'm saying, Chip doesn't know what he's talking about. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? But I've run thousands and thousands of nutrient tests on cocoa fiber, and I'm gonna exactly tell you what's going on. So years ago, all the cocoa fiber was so bad and filled with so much sodium chloride and potassium that vendors would say, oh, my product is just barely good enough for you to grow plants in, and you can find that out by testing it and it's below one EC. Now, what does that one EC mean? That's the question. Now, this is our typical Trenchton or Blue Lab Trenchton meter, one of our favorite meters on here, and it tests for PPM at the 700 rate, PPM at the 500 rate, and EC. All this does when you're testing your cocoa fiber is you're just seeing that this random number of under one EC is there, but it doesn't mean anything because I'm here to tell you, if it was 700 parts per million sodium chloride, it'd still be under one EC and your plants would die. If it was 700 parts per million potassium, it's still under one EC and your plants would go. So when you're talking about the quality of cocoa fiber, nowadays in this new modern world, it's way easier just to buy a high quality cocoa fiber and not just buy some cheap bricks or some cheap product that you see at your local grow store. That's really gonna be the best way that you can guarantee the quality. Now our favorite shop brand, Growers Cocoa, it actually has a high EC when you test it. And it te it'll test out between 1.4 and 1.4. But what that means is we have rinsed it all the way down so there's no sodium chloride in it. And then we balanced out the calcium and the magnesium ratios in it. Now, this is gonna allow the transplant of your plants to take off immediately and really thrive. What most people do is they take this cocoa fiber that they get from wherever, brokered from wherever, they rinse it and wash it with calcium nitrate. Now, the calcium nitrate, it bonds to the sodium chloride and it washes out of the cocoa fiber, leaving just the calcium nitrate, some sodium chloride, and some potassium left in it. When you go to transplant your plants in, you You've rinsed out most of the sodium chloride, but you still have the calcium and the nitrate in there, and the plants do kind of take off, but it's not balanced. Because in order for your plants to get the proper nutrition, you have to have a balanced calcium and magnesium ratio. In our industry, we talk of a one to three or one to five calcium to magnesium ratio. And that's really what you should be looking for. Like I said, if you're using a meter to test your cocoa fiber and you're just testing it to see if it's one point EC or below, you're not really doing yourself or the cocoa fiber or your plants any justice. Stop it, get some help. All you're doing is kind of wasting time. And the better thing for you to do is stick to the highest quality products you can get like Growers Cocoa, like Canna Cocoa, those are the high quality products you should be buying. Thanks for joining me. I've got my magic wand out here and I'm fixing to like go into TV land. And I'm mesmerizing you to join the Cultivate Colorado Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. And like our videos and comment below.